What's going on guys? It is November 29th, 2023. Um, I wish I had more repair videos I was getting into and I, I probably should be soon, but uh, I've just been doing a lot of PMs guys and um, I, I film what I can for you, but uh, today we did have a no heat call uh, we were gonna dive into on a, on a York package unit. Uh, weird deal here, pretty, pretty weird deal. So uh, I try to make sense of it, so take a look. All right, we have a unit here that they said they had a power outage. They said it was quite a spectacle, but now the unit won't work. So our draft inducer is running, but it's blowing out cold air. First thing I wanna do on one of these York Predator units is see if we have any air codes on the main control and then on the furnace control. We do have a flash. Nine flashes. Now that's just a generic lockout. That's just a, a generic lockout thing, I think. Yeah, ignition control lockout, ignition control failure, limit trip. So what it's gonna, if we open this up, this will tell us what the actual trip is. Limit switch open. So we have a few different limit switches here. The most easy and obvious one is this one. That is not tripped. We have another one here, which doesn't have a reset button on it. And I believe inside here, we actually have another one. That one was tripped. Now that has nothing to do with a power outage. I don't think. So that satisfied our furnace control. Did that satisfy? We might have to recycle power. Yeah, this one's still in a nine flash, so we'll have to reset power. and then figure out why the hell that limit switch tripped. That switch is like an overheat. It's like an overheat sensor. A lot of times that'll trip if you have like a clog filter, belts loose, which it's not. Close this back. It's starting up now. Here we go, it's fired. start any second now. Alright, we're going to have to dig into this thing and see why the heck it tripped. Alright, I've got this panel opened up and I apologize for the wind noise because it's blowing right at us. It actually feels pretty good up here all this heat hitting us on a 30 degree morning. But I just wanted to look and see if there was any cracks in the heat exchanger or anything that would cause any excessive heat. I'm not seeing anything right now, but we're gonna look into there a little bit deeper. A 
lot of times where they crack at is along the seams. I'm not seeing anything. I dare say this one's been replaced before because as old as this unit is, it's got a pretty decent looking heat exchanger. back on for now we'll check the filters and uh, make sure all the vents are closed that switch might be faulty it seemed a little loose but we'll go from there well the reset on that switch said 200 degrees and it'd have to really get warm in there for that thing to trip I, I don't think it got to 200 the only way that could have happened is if that blower stopped for whatever reason We've got our our probe inside here and you can see I mean I tried to get it down there deep enough the problem with doing it right here in heat mode is uh, you get a lot of the heat exchanger right there so you have to try to get your probe underneath where the heat exchanger is um, even then it might not be very accurate so you probably really got to get it from uh, from inside but even so, I mean, we're like 112 degrees right here. That's a far cry from 200. I'm gonna check a couple more things on it. We'll check its efficiency, um, see uh, see what kind of efficiency it's running. We'll check the gas pressure too. All right, we're started, starting it in, um, in first stage now. We'll see what the gas pressure is. It should be somewhere around 1.7 or so, 1.6. Then high, sh high fire should be about 3.5. Oh, it came on in high fire, so it should drop down to low fire here in a minute. Okay, this is interesting. It's not dropping down to first stage. Up oh, there it goes. Okay. It took a while. So it's at 1.5. And we know second stage is 3.3 because it just ran in second stage all that time. I have second stage removed right now. This isn't a very big unit. What, what is it, six tons? Yeah, six ton units, only got four burners. What's that, 80,000 BTUs? I'm sorry, 30,000 a burner. It's just weird that that happened after. So let's try to figure this out in our heads why that would happen after a power outage or a power surge or whatever the hell happened here so if for some reason i guess if it was mid-cycle and the unit stopped abruptly if everything stopped abruptly without cooling itself down i guess that could happen but that would just be like turning the disconnect off I just don't see how that could have happened, you know, logically with a power outage. That would be the only thing if the unit stopped abruptly without the extended fan run time cooling the heat exchanger down. Weird stuff. Let's kick it up to second stage. pressures are set a little lower than normal which is fine I'm not going to raise them this unit does not do that that large of a space uh, it's like a little office area I guess it is every bit of six tons though 
but I'm almost wondering if they only need first stage here. You know, they might need the, all the air conditioning, but only first stage of, of heat. Oh, we'll see how it runs. It's actually a six and a half ton unit. It's a weird tonnage that York does, but it is six and a half tons. Yeah, guys, so like I said in the video, it's kind of a weird deal um, uh, how a power outage would cause that limit switch to trip. But the only thing that I could think of is if it shut down abruptly while it was heating at 100% and the fan didn't have a chance to cool the heat exchanger down and in turn tripping that, that limit switch with all the heat rising up to it. I was kind of grasping there, but unless it was just a complete coincidence that they had a power outage and the unit was down, went down at the same time. I mean, I mean, what? I guess it's possible, but um, I checked everything out on it. We had a, we had a good heat rise. Gas pressures were were set pretty good, um, so I think they're good to go. Don't let me know if they're not, though. Right? <laughs> All right, guys. But that's gonna be it for this one. So go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And, uh, and subscribe if you're new. Haven't been able to post a whole lot of videos lately because of uh, because of not having a whole lot of service videos, but plenty of PMs. But go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.